Welcome to Dwarf Fortress and welcome to the channel. I'm Twisted Logic. In this video, we're going to be going over the tile types command. So the tile types command is kind of like a paintbrush. And so we can change walls from gabbro or marble into like native gold, or we can change them into pretty much any material that we can type in, as long as we know what that material is called. So if we hit tile types and press enter, tile types needs an interactive console to work. So we're going to close out of the new console. Okay, and we're going to open up the classic console here. So we're going to type in tile types, enter. And now this opens a sub menu of DF hack. You see, it's no longer DF hack that we're typing into. Now we're typing into the tile type sub menu. Over in Dwarf Fortress, I'm just going to put the keyboard selector in an area where I want to test. And then in DF hack menu, we're going to set up what we want to do. As an example, Right now it's filter any, paint any, and brush point. So it's not really gonna do anything until we set this up. Paint shape, wall, okay, enter. And so now we're painting walls. And we're gonna do paint, paint stone native gold, enter. So now we're gonna paint stone walls of native gold cluster. So next we wanna make it larger than just one tile. So we're gonna do range, and that's gonna be five to the east, five to the south and one so we're going to stay on the z level enter and then enter again excellent so we just created a native gold pillar here so we're in a new area over top of open space and if i press enter again it's going to paint okay and then as soon as the game updates this area then this whole thing is going to fall because gravity is going to take over but it may take a little bit before the game checks this area for flo floating objects. Oh, there we go. Excellent. At least that one line. So maybe this is this part right here, maybe one cluster, and then this may be a different cluster. Uh, so that whole line fell. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Nice. Excellent. So those fell down into the drink. One thing you have to be careful of is tree trunks. Because when we run this tool this time, it's going to replace these two tree trunks. Enter. You see the two tree trunks are replaced. However, above them, there's still tree. In this case, it's the cactus. However, when our miners come and mine this out, uh, those trees are going to fall and crush whoever's underneath them. It wasn't able to replace some of these plants as well. So this is all a constructed floor here. All of this is a mudstone block floor. And I have the keyboard selector just off of it. And if I press enter, you see it went down five, but it wasn't able to overwrite the constructed floor. Uh, looks like this dead spinach wasn't able to be overwritten either. Almost this entire layer was carved out of red sand. So there's all red sand walls here. Uh, this floor is constructed, so it's not gonna change as well as this is a constructed wood floor. But these stairs here, you can see there's sparse cave moss up downstairs. Uh, as well as over here. This is a red sand up downstairs. And we're going to change everything on this level to be native gold. Okay, so we're going to move the keyboard selector to the very top left of the whole area that we want to change. We're going to change paint shape to any. Okay, so instead of painting walls, we're going to paint any shape. So if it's a wall, it's going to stay a wall. If it's a floor, it's going to stay a floor. If it's open space, it's going to stay open space. And if it's a stair, it's going to stay a stair. However, we are changing the material here to native gold cluster. And now we can change the range to 512 tiles to the east, 512 tiles to the south, and one tile to stay on this Z level. Enter, enter. Okay, and we just did everything. So if we go back into the game here, this is a native gold upward slope, native gold pillars, and back over in the fortress, these are native gold pillars as well. Um, the constructed tiles didn't change. If I hover over the stair here, it says native gold upward stair. And then our whole animal area is all messed up, so I'm not going to save. Another example of something that we can do with this tool is change paint shape to floor. So paint shape floor, enter. And then we're going to change the range to maybe 15 by 15 by 1, enter, enter. Okay. And now everything here is is changed to a floor but it hasn't been discovered yet you see the doors don't know that it's a floor let's see you see if i have my mouse here it's a smooth native gold floor if i move it up there's nothing it doesn't tell me anything about this 
area here. Okay, so we're going to have our miners come in and we also have a squad coming in to see. Oh yeah, you see, it was once we did a block update there, it was revealed to be a floor. Excellent. And you see underneath where they mined, it's still a red sand cavern floor because we only changed the wall type. We didn't change the floor type. Okay, we're going to start right here. We're going to go to 60 to the east, 35 down, and 16 up. And this dwarf is in that area, so we're going to see what happens. Enter. Uh, it looks like he's trapped in the wall there. Uh, seems okay. If I come up in the layer here, we have a, we have a marble cube that goes up several layers. And I thought that this was a pretty cool way to start the fortress. Um, so... At one time, I want to start a fortress that's kind of like this. Something just exploded down here. Let's see. Oh, okay. So, like, a small piece of it fell off. Yeah, so a small piece of it fell off, and we have a magma piston effect here. All of the water tiles that were underneath this square were teleported up to elevation 13 here. And you can see it's flowing off right here. But they're teleported all the way up to Elevation 13, so we had a Magma Piston effect right there. And so I thought that creating a big column of some kind of stone just like this at the Embark, and then carving the fortress out of this would be a pretty cool idea, and I, I still may do that. If we wanted to do another command in here, like say Fast Dwarf 1-0, Enter. That's not going to work at all because we're still in the Tile Types menu, so we have to press Q. And that's going to quit the tile types menu. Enter. And now we're back into regular DF hack and we can do our fast dwarf. Thank you very much for watching and subscribe for more videos.